Are you torn between a brand new home or a pre-owned home? I'm Lauren, this is Raul, and we are with the Schrader Group, and today we are going to be discussing the main differences between a pre-owned and a new construction. So Raul, what would you say are some of the biggest advantages for new construction right now? Well, first and foremost, nobody's ever lived in your home, right? So if you go and buy yeah. new construction, you're gonna be the only one, which is really, really cool. Uh, depending on the process or when you get in on that new build, you're able to pick your colors, you know, you get the modern designs mm -hmm. uh, and everything in between. But ultimately, you're going to be able to see from fresh, you know, foundation all the way up to your finished product, which is really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then really, you just take advantage of all the builder incentives that are out there right yeah, those now. Those are huge. Right I, I think that's probably what's been moving the needle for us in the past 20, you know, 2024. Uh, builders have been consistently gaining traction. Uh, and sometimes we see the resale kind of being able to try to compete with the builders, but it's really, really hard because the builders have so much more money than than our resale buyers or sellers have to kind of donate and give to the buyers. Yeah. And what would you say are some other advantages? Because I know there's a whole list of them. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're looking at a pre-owned versus a new construction, uh, deferred maintenance is probably your biggest one. Mm -hmm. uh, we always like to say, hey, when you get a new build, you're going to get a one-year front door to back door warranty, mm -hmm. a two-year major mechanical, electrical, and HVAC. Uh, plumbing, all that good stuff, and then you got a tenure on your structure. So all that kind of comes into play when you're trying to make that investment and that peace of mind that knowing that you're not going to have to be pouring out a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Now, on the flip side, you're getting a brand new home, which means your energy efficiencies are going to be a lot better, yes. right? So your electricity, your utility bills will be a little bit tighter. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think for me, the peace of mind, whether you're buying your first house, your third house, or an investment home, it's always nice to know that you got that peace of mind of, hey, if anything breaks, we could go ahead and call them. 100%. Yeah. On the flip side, what benefits do pre-owned homes have that new construction may not have? Yeah, so first and foremost, pre-owns have great value regardless of the way you look at it, right? Uh, a lot of times it's the location because if we see where the new building or new construction is going, it's going further and further outside the metro or the, the heart of the city, right? So outside of Loop 410, outside 1604 and further. Uh, so if you're looking for more of an established neighborhood, if you're looking for leaves on trees and big branches, mm -hmm. you're not going to find that in a, in a new neighborhood. Uh, so the pre-existing does come into play and there's great values there because number one, right now we're in a, sell a buyer's market, right? So when the, we're in a buyer's market, you're able to capitalize on maybe giving up a new house, but you're able to get more location, shorter commute to work. Maybe the school districts are working better for you and your kiddos, uh, whatever it might be. But I think in the long run, you're able to do a lot of cool things. Plus, you could get an older home and then totally remodel it, make it something that's really, really good for yourself and your family. It just really depends on what angle you're going for. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of charm in, in pre-existing homes. Yes. You know, even 1920 homes, there's tons of Some charm. Some different kind of character, right? Absolutely, the architecture, the value. I mean, there's just different ways to look at it. Uh, it just really depends on your needs and what you're looking for. But there's great advantages right now in the market to where the seller is willing to come to the table and say, okay, let's figure out how to make a deal happen. Yeah. So from my experience, we've only ever bought a new construction. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the main differences between buying pre-owned versus new construction? Yeah, so I think there's a lot of similarities, but the process starts a little bit differently. Uh, normally, uh, I would say go ahead and reach out to a trusted agent. That way you know the, the process of what's going on. Uh, but ultimately, if you're going pre-owned, we want to make sure you're qualified, just like you would want to be qualified with the new build. The difference with the new build is you could go stop at a model home and start looking before you're actually qualified, right? right? With the pre-owned, you're going to have to get qualified before you even get in the door. Then let's just say we go under contract with the pre-owned and it's a perfect house. You love it. Everything's great. We have what's called an option period, which is like our due diligence period mm -hmm. to make sure that everything is working with the house. We've already negotiated the price, but we want to just make sure that everything we thought was going on is going on. So we get an inspector. We kind of go back and forth. And then outside of that option period, we start the process of going through what's called pending, get the appraisal, make sure that if there was any repairs that were needed to be done, get taken care of and then kind of go through to the finishing point of getting to the closing table. On the flip side, with the new construction, you got a, you know, you got your on-site rep, right? That's mm -hmm. kind of guiding through the process. You also have your on-site construction manager that's kind of going through all the steps. I would still recommend getting an inspection either way because peace of mind is valuable. Right. Uh, but it allows, it's, just, it's almost like a smoother process because we know that if there's anything there, we don't have to argue or fight our way to get something repaired because we just turn over the report and they go ahead and fix it all. Uh, the appraisal process is still the same on both sides. Uh, and, and ultimately, when we get to the closing table, we're all celebrating the same. So it doesn't really matter on that fact. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of just two different uh, approaches, if you will. Okay. 
So obviously purchasing a, purchasing a home is a very big investment, whether it's pre-owned or new construction. Mm -hmm. What would you say are the major differences when it comes down to warranty? Yeah, so warranties are going to be one of those interesting points, right? Because when you buy new, you're thinking if anything breaks, I could call somebody, mm -hmm. which is partially true. So you're going to get a one-year front door, back door warranty on workmanship and craftsmanship, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so if anything kind of break or there's anything that's going on, then they'll come and repair that. Now, they're not going to repair a sheetrock hole that you cause with your, your couch going up the stairs, <laughs> but they'll come back for other items. Mm -hmm. And then they also have their two-year, which is going to be their major mechanical, electrical, HVAC, plumbing systems, uh, anything that's like inside the walls, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then you got your 10 year or six year on the structure. So the, the, the new law is that it's a minimum of six years, mm -hmm. but it can go up to 10 depending on the builder. That's a great peace of mind, right? Because if we have huge droughts like we always do in mm -hmm. Texas or especially San Antonio, that allows for any kind of movements or anything like that to be protected. Mm -hmm. Now you still got to do your deferred maintenance, keep the slab watered and things like that. Uh, but those are some of the new side advantages. Flipping over to the resale side, depending on how old the house is, you still might have builder warranties, right? right? Because you still might have, the house might be three years old, so you still have seven years on the structure. It might be one year and you still have one more year on the mechanical side, right? right. So it just really depends. But if we were to go buy a pre-owned today, I would probably negotiate the fact that we get a home warranty for at least one year. You could even get a two year. It costs about $600 to get, but it gives you that peace of mind. Yes, and yes. if anything breaks on the big side, right? Your HVAC, your appliances, you know, any any of those water heater things that, that you're protected and that you could actually go through. Now, it's only about a year, depending, most of the time, but at least you could renew it after that. Yeah, and it's going to have that peace of mind. Mm -hmm. People always think they're not going to need it until they do, and then it's too late. Yeah, too late. <laughs> At the end of the day, it really comes down to your lifestyle, budget, and needs. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at The Strata Group. We'd love to help. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon.